Welcome to the video lecturing series of data mining and warehousing. Today, in this video lecture, we will discuss about social network analysis. So, the main content of so this video is social network analysis and the uses and characteristics of social networking, link mining, task and challenges of link mining. Okay, we will move on to this. This social network analysis means we are doing a data mining technique in social network. So, in social network analysis is the process of investigating the social structure through the use of network and graph theory. It characterizes the networked structure in terms of nodes like individual or actors are present in there and the ties and it ties the edges or links that shows the relationship or interaction that connect them. So, here a social network is defined as a social structure of individuals and how this individuals are related to each other, common relation of interest. The social network analysis is the study of social network to understand the structure and behavior. How the social network analysis will do is in case of social network analysis, it indicate the ways in which they are connected through various social familiarities ranging from a casual acquaintance to a familiar bonds how they are related that we will see in this so here in it uh, we will see how social structures of individuals related based on a common relation of interest like friendship will be there trust will be there like that how the individuals are related And in social network analysis, we are using the graph theory concept. So, we are considering it as a graph. So, their nodes will be there as well as edges will be there. The nodes represent an object or entity like if it is a social network, persons will be there. If it is a network means computer and servers will be there. So, that shows all this like power generator, airport for all this we will do the network. All those entities represent the node. And the link represent likes and follow those kind of relationship. So, in social network we are using a graph theory concept. So, a graph will be there. In a graph nodes and edges will be there. Nodes represent the object or entity like a person or a computer like that. And in case of link it will show the relationship how it is related. How the social structure of one individual related with another like follows those kind of relationship. Now, the main uses are to identify the characteristics of graph and to generate model of graph that exhibit these characteristics. Use these tools to make prediction about the behavior of graph. For all this purpose, we are using this graph mine, uh, this social network analysis. And in, uh, and in social media, social media data is everywhere. There is an overload. Like there is a huge amount of data is there. Uh, so, there an information overload is there, information is overloaded as well as interaction overload is also there. Right? In the social media data, data is very huge data is there, information as well as interaction data will be there. Information data in the sense photos, videos, bookmarks, blogs, etc. comes under information overload. Now, what about the interaction overload, friends? taggers, followers, commenters. So, all those comes under interaction overload. So, by with this data, we have to do the network analysis to understand the behavior and the social structure. So, this by understanding, this will help us to understand the human behavior or market analytics or for product sentiments and all, we can use these techniques. So, this will help us to do the personalization or a targeted market marketing or for doing the suggestion of choices, community analysis, sentiment analysis and opinion mining. For all those application, we can use this social network mining. Now, we will see the main characteristics of social media mining in that the main characteristics are you can see degree of distribution small world effect, densification, shrinking parameter. So, these are the main characteristics. 
the social networks are mostly dynamic and its graphical representation depends on the nodes and edge added to that graph so what is meant by this degree of distribution real world social networks are tend to have a highly skewed distribution it is like data sir huge amount of data is there data is spread everywhere small percentage of node have very high degree are and they are highly connected you can see if this is a if this is a network and some many nodes are there for some nodes there is it is connected with every other node so it is like well considering this particular node the degree of distribution of small percentage of node is having very high degree of uh, very high degree of highly connectivity uh, one example is like a spread of virus if virus spread if for example coronavirus if it is affected in that area widespread is there that means heavy traffic for a particular node that is known as degree of distribution degree of distribution is more here now next property is small world effect in case of small world effect most real graph the number of hops it takes to reach any other node from any node to any other node is about 6 like a 6 degree of freedom is present in case of almost all kind of networks next next characteristic is densification here the number of here densification means in recent recent researches and all it is concluded that network become more dense over time with an average degree increase so that the number of edges grow linearly in the number of nodes so graph gets denser over time like if this is if this is a network and if this network if these are the some nodes uh, if it is in today this is the case after 3 months after 3 months uh, just consider about mobile network if this is if these are the mobile nodes in particular area today this is the case after 3 more months what will happen again some more nodes will present right so the densification will be coast like a graph gets denser over time number of edges grows super linearly with the number of nodes that is known as densification next characteristic is shrinking parameter shrinking parameter similarly just consider this particular area in this area now these many nodes are there now you can see five nodes so uh, with connecting this is the area of this particular node and this is the area of this particular node right so you can see a small circle that shows the area of that like if this is a mobile tower it can cover these many areas so if we are adding two or three more mobile towers what will happen its diameter will be reduced to this much right so if the diameter is taken to be longest shortest path in the graph the network grows na- diameter actually gets smaller as the network grows diameter will become smaller if more mobile networks are there uh, the range or the area it has to cover become smaller right so that is known as shrinking diameter as the network grows the diameter actually gets smaller that is the distance between nodes become slowly decreased that is known as shrinking parameter this is very important characteristics of a social network so these are the main characteristics of a social network degree of distribution small world effect densification and shrinking parameter now next is link mining link mining is actually new emerging area in data mining the link mining refers to a data mining technique that explicitly consider the link when building predictive and descriptive model of the linked data so links are more generally relationship among the data and the instances the task involved in link mining are like first we have to identify the link based object classification object type prediction link type prediction predicting link existence and link cardinality object reconciliation group detection subgraph and metadata mining these are the task involved in link mining so do, while doing the link mining Uh, if you are uh, some hyperlinks and all if you are searching first you have to predict this what kind of object is that then link prediction is also there then we have to check the pred- link existence prediction 
and how what is the cardinality how many links are connected with a particular link an object reconciliation then group detection subgraph and metadata mining so these are the main task involved in link mining now we will see the challenges in link mining are local versus statistical dependencies feature construction instance versus classes collective classification of collective consolidation link prediction effective use of labeled and unlabeled data so these are the main challenges in link mining so thank you